Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Um, we're going to get into Shakur Stevenson. Oh, man. I should have tried harder with his name. Artem Harahoshin. Am, am, I, am I saying that right? Harahunin. Harahunin. We're going to go with that. I'm sure that's wrong, but it doesn't matter. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing, how to bring down the house. Uh, join the Patreon as well. Link is in the description. It's also in the little ticker below. Uh, just five dollars a month gets you the lock of the week. Get you all the perks. It gets you everything. Uh, it gets you ask the bookie anything. It'll get you request a request a fight. I'll break down a fight for you. Uh, a ton of perks. I'm losing my brain here. Uh, a ton a ton of perks as well. I get the latest props as well when the props come out. If they haven't dropped when I've done the video, we will release those in the Patreon. Um. Also, subscribe to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. I am tired, and my brain is not working today. Shakur Stevenson, Artem Harahunin. I, I, I'm just never going to get that name. It, it, it's useless at this point. But uh, you know, we all know Shakur Stevenson, and we all basically know how this fight's going to go. It basically comes down to can Shakur Stevenson get a stoppage, which he hasn't done much of, except when it's completely fought outclassed opponents. Um, and that's kind of what we have here. So it, I don't think it's inappropriate to ask the question, uh, does he get the knockout? We're going to get to that in, 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 just a, in just a moment. Shakur Stevenson, he's elusive as hell. Amazing feat. He's the hardest guy to hit in the sport. You can't catch him clean. He's also a difficult guy to watch in the sport, which is why he's not getting huge fights, why he's not getting star fights, mega fights. He's he's content on, on going the distance in, in a lot of fights. Uh, the master counter puncher by nature. He's, like I said, he's nearly impossible to hit clean. He picks his spots incredibly well. He's not a high volume guy, but he's extremely accurate. He scores with his shots. He throws in two punch combinations at times, uh, but he doesn't really put anything more than that together. But he doesn't have to because he lands clean with what he throws. He measures distance so well. He's completely in control at all times. I've never seen him not in control with the distance, with the range, keeping you at bay. He moves his feet, and, and, and you just can't close the distance on him. He's moving the ring. You try to get in. He throws off a two-piece. He fires it off. He stops doing your tracks, gets back to where he wants to be. Uh, he doesn't waste a lot of energy. He doesn't waste – he does not waste any punches. Everything he does is, is on purpose with a plan. He's an extremely high, high ring IQ guy. Nothing I'm saying here is, is earth-shattering. Nothing here is, is, is new. There's nothing new under the sun. We know exactly what we're getting with him. He's got incredible speed, killer timing. Like I said, perfect feet. Per he can establish himself, too. And, and this is what I, I want to say. You know, I, I do think, you know, he's not the offensive fighter that Floyd was because Floyd was obviously the best offensive fighter, but he's also a pretty good offensive fighter when you, when you, when you, when you actually break down the tape. Shakur is not as good an offensive fighter, uh, but I do think he's just as good defensively as Shakur. Um, you know, Floyd, the best defensive fighter, but he's also an, a, a very good offensive fighter. Shakur's got some weaknesses. Uh, he doesn't, he's got a little bit of pop and he can stand his ground a little bit. You'll see him do it. Um, He's come forward at times, too. You know, that's obviously not his thing. And he's not going to walk you down like Floyd did with Cotto in the end of the fight. But Shakur Stevenson will stand in and he will establish himself and he'll just make you miss. He'll stand in front of you. Uh, we saw this with Robinson Kinsasiao. Uh, we saw, yeah, we saw a lot with Robinson Kinsasiao where he stood in front of him and made a miss, made a miss, made a miss in front of him. And then would come forward and would nail him. Uh, we also saw it with... Uh, Yoshina, the Japanese fighter who he dismantled and stopped. Uh, and then once he heard him and once he found out that he couldn't get her, he just came forward and he stopped that fight. 
So basically, what we have here is is a perfect defensive fighter. He doesn't do much that's exciting to the average fan. Uh, great timing, great speed, picks his spots, and it's impossible to hit. I mean, that's what we have with Shakur Stevenson. There's nothing new there. Artem Hanahunin. Hot on Artem. Uh, front foot fighter. Decent athleticism. Nice subtle movements to slip in. Uh, doesn't have the best speed. Doesn't have the best power. But he comes forward. Good counter puncher. You know, he's got decent pop when he lands. He's got a, a spectacular left-handed knockout. Um, I saw a, a tape of one punch knockout of um, Samuel Molina, I believe. Uh, a Spanish fighter. He punches well with you. He punches in between your punches really well. Uh, mi- mixes up head and body pretty well. Like I said, he's got pretty good movement. You know, he's not a super athlete, but he but he slips in. He slips shots. He does those things really, really well. It's just after that, there's nothing next level about him. You know, great, good left hook, good power, f- come forward fighter, good counter puncher. Doesn't have the best speed, doesn't have great power. He's got decent power. He commits to his shots, throws hard. He's just limited. You know, he's not going to win this fight. He's, although he's a good fighter, he's a pretty good fighter. He's fighting Shakur Stevenson. And there's nothing he can really do to win this fight. So the only question is, how tough is he? And I'm going to say, let's do this. Let's put a two times bet on Shakur Stevenson to win, which is going to make us, that is a Kazioka. Here's Shakur Stevenson. A two times bet on him to win. Two and a half bets only going to make us eight bucks. Uh, but we're also going to take Shakur Stevenson like that to win by stoppage. I do think he gets the stoppage. I think this is a mercy stop. Perhaps they stop it late. Uh, corner stops it. I, I, I don't think this thing goes the distance. So I'm taking Shakur Stevenson on the money line, and I'm taking Shakur Stevenson by KO. I think Shakur Stevenson's a decent fight to throw in on your parlay just to bring down the odds a little bit. Obviously, he's going to he's gonna hit. Uh, obviously, Shakur Stevenson is going to make you money on this. Shakur Stevenson, uh, minus 2,500. Uh, and I also would put half a bet. So I'm putting 250 to make, what is that? 60 bucks. You're wagering 250 to make 60 bucks, which is not a terrible bet. I like Shakur Stevenson by KO. I think he makes some money on it. If not, we've hedged a little bit uh, with Shakur Stevenson on the money line. You can also add Shakur Stevenson to your weekly parlay. Uh, it's not, a, you know, for what it is, Shakur Stevenson paying even money for a stop is victory is not terrible. That is not the worst thing in the world. I, I, again, it is kind of 50 50, and the odds kind of reflect that. But if you look at Shakur Stevenson, he needs an impressive victory. Uh, people were not happy with his performance over De La Santos. Uh, before that, he stopped Yoshino. He stopped Jamel Herring. So he, he's gotten a few stoppages here and there. He stopped Felix Carabello. He can get the stoppage. I, I think this is one of them. I, I think coming forward, Yana Hojin is going to be there to get hit. He's going to get tagged. Eventually, over time, I, I do like the late stoppage. If you, yeah, I, I'm just gonna go with that. My, my prediction for the fight is Shakur Stevenson by late stoppage. I, I don't think, all things considered, it pays terribly. $250 bet. If you do it like this, it's gonna make you, like I said, 60 bucks. It's not terrible. About, you know, it, it would be like he's a, a four to one favorite to stop him, which is basically what it comes down to with a little bit of a hedge. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It is, uh, what is it, July 1st, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.